or the 5th of May. It's the day the Mexican army won an important victory 150 years ago. Recently here in the U.S., Cinco de Mayo has become a day to celebrate the Mexican culture. Schools are doing it. I know some cooked Mexican dishes in class. Others went to Mexican food restaurants. But out in the San Francisco Bay Area, five high schoolers picked yesterday to show their American pride, wearing the flag on their clothes. They say they did it out of patriotism, but the vice principal thought it insulting to many of the other students who are Mexican-American. And he told them to remove their stars and stripes or be suspended. They went home. That We had to turn our t-shirts inside out, and then we could go back to class, but we said no because we thought it would be disrespectful to the flag if we were hiding it. It's just kind of disrespectful that they would do that on this day. I mean, we don't go around on 4th of July wearing red, white, and green and saying Viva Mexico because that's disrespectful. And that would be disrespectful considering the opportunity this country has provided immigrants from Mexico. And that vice principle illustrates the wrong-headedness infecting this country. We don't water down or hide the red, white, and blue to be inclusive. Cinco de Mayo is fun, celebrating the Mexican culture. I enjoy it. But we should all be united, not divided under the stars and stripes. I'm Kelly Ogle, and that's my.